feel. Yes, I did get in trouble. I stood up. I spoke up. I spoke out. And I got arrested. A towering figure in the civil rights movement is gone. Congressman John Lewis died last night, succumbing to his long battle with cancer. Congressman John Lewis represented Georgia and parts of Atlanta in Congress for decades, but he had a heavy hand in the civil rights movement here in Nashville that began in the 1960s. News Force Joshua Cole talked with local leaders trying to make a difference the way Lewis did. At 60 years ago, right here at Woolworths, downtown Nashville, a group of African Americans would sit at the lunch counter as part of a movement. Representative John Lewis was in that group, and his civil rights work is still felt today. We can change America, and in changing America, we can change the world. Around Nashville, the work of civil rights activists live on, now remembering the life of Representative John Lewis. You can see it in murals, his words talked about in classrooms. If not us, then who? If not now, then when? John Lewis is one of the main reasons I'm able to do, to, to have my name on the ballot. And here outside Woolworths on 5th, where Lewis, a Fisk student, sat for social change and got arrested. We made a lot of progress, but there's still many, many problems existing not only in Nashville, but in Atlanta, uh, or the city that I represent, but all around the country. And now that he's gone, it's, um, there's no question that the torch has been passed, and so it's up to a new generation to pick it up and not just talk about why we love him, but also to show why we love him by continuing the movement. From Nashville to Selma, then to Washington, representing Georgia, the conscience of the U.S. Congress inspired more back here in Tennessee to keep fighting. He paid a price, he paid a price uh, physically, emotionally. We have to take up that mantle and continue it because we're not there. I think we're headed in the right direction. We've come so far, we've made so much progress. We don't want to go back. We want to go forward. I think we must come together as a people and preach the way of tolerance, the way of love and peace, and lay down the burden of hate and division. Yeah, Congressman Lewis was 80 years old, and I'm told that some lawmakers in Tennessee and in Nashville are trying to find a street here in Nashville that they can rename after Lewis and his work that he did. Alan. That would be a wonderful tribute. All right, thank you, Joshua. Well, throughout the day, we have been compiling tributes and statements on John Lewis. You can find them all on the News 4 app or you can look it up at WSMV.com.